Hello everyone, this device is an ear filter. So the problem this one, it was a power source and the device has no power. I got another two devices from this guy, a speaker and another fan that has the same issue, no power. The speaker has no sound. So this is the quick check that I did. Let me put this one. Gonna need to put this cover to get these switches push it in for me to test it. So I'm gonna just put this one back just like this and I keep it open. So you can see is because there is two switches here need to be on. So this cover is gonna hold it on. This is the board has a couple screws here and uh, there is a high voltage transformer here that's feeding this uh, this element here and there is a small transformer so this one is a 9.4 volt 280 milliamp and there is uh, no fuse to check uh, for the the open. So let me plug it in and uh, we see what it's doing. So I plug the device to the power. So there is no LED light. There's, there is no power at all. So you can see there is some So we need to check the switches, one here, one here, one here, to be sure that the, uh, they are closed. And we're going to check 110 volt is coming to the switch, it's going to this transformer. Then we check if we have 9, nine volt output of this uh, transformer. So there is a capacitor here six microfarad and we need to check if there is the power going to it so this this switch here is good let me put it back This switch here is good. The second switch over there is good. So we check all the switches. This one is good. And this one here is good. So the switches the safety switches, all of them are good. Close it. I plug it into the power. So next I'm going to check if there is a power going to this one. You can see the two wires here. The, these two reds is the input of the transformer. The blue, two blue here, is the output of the transformer. And it said it here. Red, red is 120 and the output is a blue and blue so let's check over here we have 120 volt so in the output is a zero volt so there is no output is a zero volt this transformer should be always give 9 volt no matter what so basically this transformer there is a problem in it so I'm, I did unplug the power and we're going to check the resistance in the coil in the primary and the secondary side of the transformer so this coil here in the blue wires
so you can see is about four ohm so the secondary coil or the output coil is good so let's check the resistance and the, the input coil is open yeah open line so there is the coil the input coil is open from the power source we're going to take this transformer we look for one and we replace it and see if that's going to fix the problem so i find uh, this uh, transformer here it is a ec you can see it here the output is a 9 volt ec 300 milliamp or is close to this one So this is a transformer and uh, let's do some modification yeah that's good so I can use this part where the screws is uh, is holding finish the output and now is the the input yeah you want to keep this this connection let me see it will be hard to cut them The yellow one didn't work, so let me use this pink one. Need something to be close over there. Let me just But the wire is it's broken now. Very tiny wire. So we need something.
and I'm gonna melt the plastic around it over here. So I can. I don't want to put any pressure on the small wire. So if that wire is off, it's gone. I need another transformer. Test this transformer from here to here. We have 270 ohm, that's good. It's not open like this one. About 3 ohm, that's good. So, next. Gonna put some hot glue. So I plug the device to the power, and we're gonna check the voltage in this blue. Connector. So we have 10 volt. That's good. I'll unplug it and let's plug this power supply here. Let's turn it on. It works so let's try again you can see the light and the fan is spinning yeah it works so I just say have to put the device together device work we have the blue light the button That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. See you next one.